Oh good, another one. You are in the company of exceptional friends. That's true. In, in my bed. pants. That was dumb. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's Edith of Corbin. I'm Rick. Instagram, it's the plan. Twitter, Twitter more juicy content. It's so juicy. dripping. It's dripping on the floor. Two days. What are we doing, Rick? I don't know, but someone's mad at me for overreacting. Ha ha ha! Suck my ass. This is a children's channel. Oh, suck my donkey. <laughs> Today, this is called. I think this is a. Somebody just. Somebody was tripping out. Hmm. Somebody was either stoned or drunk or up too late. Hmm. And we both froze at that moment, and they thought their phone glitched. Uh, or their computer. I think this is an instrumental music. This is how to name it, do it, or how to name it. Do anything, say these. Ashwini Koshiks. <sighs> Ilya Raja and Insight. I know I mispronounced that, forgive me. A flute cover for one of Ilya Raja's or Raji Sir's. That's much, Raja Sir, thank you. Raja Sir's many, many magical compositions done by the beautiful Ashwini Koshik. Raja Sir is one of the greatest music composers of Indian film industry. We know, and I always butcher his name. Raja Sir. Uh, in a way, you could call him one of the uh, gurus of A.R. Rahman. A.R. Rahman worked as a pianist in Rajasur's troupe for oh, hundreds cool. of movies. Rajasur won five national awards, arguably the most prestigious award in Indian film history. Only Rahman Sir has won more, six. Back in the 80s, there wasn't as much globalization, so knowledge of Rajasur's genius is largely restricted to South India. Mm. Yeah, you know, that's something that uh, is so true. That's a benefit and blessing of today as yeah. far as getting to be the world being a much smaller place. But yeah, like everybody found out about John Williams because he did international blockbusters. Yeah. But the great composers of other countries, you couldn't get that exposure. So yeah. you weren't, you weren't it's known. Localized to yeah. whatever region it's from. Yep. Here we go. Sure, if that's what you call them. Wow. 
don't be over. Mm. Yeah, that could have gone Is on. Is that over? Oh, man. Yeah. How to name it? I would... What a shame. Yeah, that was... That could have gone on for another five that, minutes. Easy. That yeah. could have been a 15-minute piece, and I would have been very happy. That was... That was reminiscent of some of the classic uh, composers. Yeah. Uh, it was very playful. It was, the very. composition was wonderful. And then obviously her, the flautist, if that's, I, that's what I assume all people who play that instrument are called, but yes. it, she might be called something different and I apologize. I don't know. Um, but Ashwani, right? Yes. Uh, 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 Ashwini Koshik. I, I believe that's the, beautiful. The but yeah, the composition was yeah, absolutely I'm, marvelous. I'm notating right here something. I had a stupid baby give me an idea, and I think I'm going to follow through with it because a couple of reactions we've done, including this one, where they've said there's a lot of NRIs who would love to know more about American culture as they're here. Mm -hmm. So on my personal channel, I'm going to start probably when we get past all the Oscars cause, and there's so many movies to review and stuff, I'm going to start sharing some things that I reference like I'm about to. This reminded me a lot orchestrally of the orchestral pieces of, for example, the Moody Blues' song, Nights in White Satin, mm. that reminded me a lot of the orchestration in that. And some of the flute pieces reminded me, and the rhythmic changes reminded me of some of the stuff that Jethro Tull did in the 1970s, one of my favorite bands. So I will, I'm making a note to do a video on the Moody Blues and Jethro Tull and a video on Pedro, because I mentioned him a lot. But the composition of that, aside from her, I, how do, how does a flautist bend their note? So on a string, it makes sense. It's probably with the... It's, it's that and the finger too, yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Probably hugging... In the in-between spaces. Because yeah. with a string, you just bend. bend the string. There's nothing to bend on a, on a wind instrument. I'm sure it's the inflection of your the like how much you're blowing along with, something the with the tongue, finger. and yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. That... But when I hear the bending and the sliding in between notes without a sharp change that's that's as smooth as any string instrument i'm awestruck right? yeah that was absolutely good we need to learn a lot more about um is that Rochester? well but Ra 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 yeah is that hit that that's what they said right that was because i cannot pronounce his, his his name no and i really want to to give him the honor he deserves uh, it that, looks but... like you could tell us if this is something we call Rochester. Uh, if that's okay to call him that, right? I don't Makes know. It easier, uh, but you guys let us know. But obviously, since he was a Roman's guru, uh, obviously he's somebody that uh, we need to know him by name. And, and you can tell from that composition, and I'm assuming the arrangement was his as well. Uh, it's so playful, and so many echoings back and forth between the strings and the keyboards and the flute mm -hmm. and some descending notes where the, the bass line did one descent and then did one note differently than the second descent. The composition capacity is as good as it gets. That was, I want to I want to hear what he does. <laughs> so let us know what other videos, uh, songs of his, uh, anything about of him. And, and her. And her as well. Yeah. She was lovely. Beautiful. Uh, such a wonderful, if this is what she is, a flautist. Yeah. Uh, yeah, please educate us stupid people down in the comment section below. <laughs>